What is going on guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last videos. I've been kind of busy working all six days and using my free days to run my errands and stuff like that. But I've also tried making some fishing videos like the one that I'm about to show you. It was, I can say it's kind of successful and I'll be showing you my setups. Just a warning though, quality might not be that good the audio for sure it's it's not the best but it's just i'm gonna show you the camera i was filming with i was filming with this db power i believe that's the name it's a camera that i bought off of amazon almost a year ago i got it on sale for like 25 dollars so i mean it's not the greatest but for 25 bucks it's the the, at least the image is pretty good the audio not so well but I mean it's just 25 bucks so let's take a look Damn. I think they're like really small cuz They're just nibbling at it. I'm sorry if the video's noisy, it's windy today, and the audio sucks on this camera. It's not a GoPro. of warm so you need just like half of this and maybe you can see it so I just cut a little piece of warm that's all fish biting it but they won't get catched I think they're too small fish on fish on fish on oh yeah yeah buddy the first one finally they're biting like real quick look look at that oh. they took my warm I, no we're not gonna eat a turtle but look oh is that the snapping turtle no it's a red ear slider i'm gonna try and take the hook out to go buddy so far so this all the fishes we have caught I didn't record the other ones because there was people around here. Okay, now that we're back, I'm gonna be uh, talking about the setup that I had. And one of them was this little rod right here. I got it at Bass Pro Shop. It's a uh, four feet, six inches ultralight rod. Yeah, they actually, it's ultralight. I have a 10 pound Braid, cast king braided line and I mainly use small hooks like this one I think it's a size 10 could be wrong circle hook let me show you real quick it's a really it's a really small hook but with this you can catch almost any panfish even uh, a decent sized bass you just have to be careful because since the hook is too small they'll probably swallow it I've also been using this rod right here it's a uh, seven feet I don't even know the name it's so uh, 
rod that I bought from Walmart like three years ago. And I'm trying this setup because I'm trying to go after catfish. And it's actually a, a weight right here. It's this little weight right here. And what it does is uh, if a fish eats it, the line can still move around so this weight stays down and then the line moves all around. And what I did is I added this cable, this wire right here, because where I've been going there's a lot of alligator gar. So I've been trying to catch either alligator gar or some catfish. Hasn't worked well. I have uh, most of the times they have just ate my bait. And uh, right now it has, I think this one, since I changed the reel on it from a bigger setup I had, this one is a 80 pound, 80 pound line. Because there's a lot of rocks where I go fishing, so I'll try to, uh, so I won't lose, so I won't lose my line or whatever. I'm just trying to use a heavier setup. And I'm just, I'm starting to learn this because all I would do is go pan fishing, so if any of you guys have more knowledge how to catch scars or full videos, just put them down below in the comments. That would really help me out a lot. What I've, what I've been using is a life bait to try and catch them. So what I use is this little three feet cast net. And I'm not, I'm not very good at it. Not the best, I'm still learning. But it does the job. It's like really small three feet, so. I mean, it gets the job done. I just bought a five foot one trying to improve. So I would really recommend it. It's beneficial, you free fish, you fish for free basically. Catching bait for free, so just give it a try. Okay, so in the video I'm about to show you, it was uh, actually early in the morning and I just stayed for a few minutes. That That's why I didn't I didn't catch anything in that video. I just threw my bait out, left it there, my time ran out, and then I just had to come back. So I didn't catch anything that day. Lighting is gonna suck. Like I said, it's a $25 camera. You can't expect much from it. But so far it's been doing good for the underwater shots that I've taken. But I'm planning on upgrading to a GoPro. So hopefully soon I'll, I'll be having a GoPro. and the sunfish. Alright, let's use the smallest one first. setup that I'm trying. I'll show, I'll show it better at home. Just because there's a lot of alligator gar in here. And I'm tired of them messing up my line. right here I have been fishing here for a few days but all they do is just take my bait away and there is some big fish I've seen them swim on the shore so that's why I didn't throw it as far hopefully today I catch a big one I don't know why it's taking so long for, for them to bite me usually I 
after a few minutes, they're already on the bait. So that's everything I have for y'all today. Thanks each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it and thank you everybody who watches my videos. So with that being said, we'll see you next time. Peace out, y'all.